Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft GAA Stadium Showcase and today we will be looking at Semple Stadium in Tipperary which was built in 1910 it was renovated in 1981 and 2009 and has a capacity of 45,690 making it the second biggest stadium like GAA Stadium by capacity and also considered the home of GA because of course Tip Tipperary is where Harlan was invented. So let's head on in. So this is what it looks like and actually as you can see the back look it looks like I didn't fill in the wall but in actuality that's just how big it is. So there's <laughs> two more that are going to be absolutely massive like this where it won't even fully render in the whole thing. So that's going to be fun. But this was this was a pretty uh, fun one to make actually. Cuz it was it was it was actually pretty simple but had its own challenges like especially this kind of commentary boot here because as you can see I've made it really small because if you're up here you can't see up very high because it's in the way obviously on the real one it wouldn't be that difficult let me actually just see how far down I have to go well actually it's only one row I have to go down to but to get the very clearest I have to be like right under it. Also the roof is pretty unique looking it's got all these uh, iron bars up along it and also you've got another one of these little boots I imagine this is for cameras it's similar to the one in Cusack Park but obviously as you can see I've made it a lot smaller we've got our scoreboard over here and uh, no opponents for tip because we'll have to wait till Monday for the draws to be made to see who they face in the football in the hurling. Uh, in football, tip compete in Division 3 of the league and in the Munster Championship. And in the hurling, they compete in Division 1A of the league and the Munster Championship. And are the current All Ireland. Hurland champions, so the Hurland's definitely their strongest sport. As you can see, we've even we've got multiple tunnels on the stands now because it's again it's the second biggest by capacity, so obviously I had to reflect it in its actual size. So I've got multiple tunnels on it as opposed to usually the two or three that are along the ground and then the same that'd be on that one we've even got the tunnels in the corner these ones were a lot easier than the other ones to make because they're actually they're smaller and they lined up absolutely beautifully we've got our flags there as well again no other flag for opponents but yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool stadium. I definitely like the alternating yellow and blue for the seating. That it worked out really well. Especially because I had to, especially because like I actually counted and they fit perfectly together because I counted the length of the whole thing to divide it up into the four colors and Luckily, I landed on just the right number to be able to divide it at four times equally. But yeah, it's a really cool stadium. Forgot to put in gates at this end. Oh well. Yeah, so it's it's really cool. Look, I'm really happy with it. I like this part as well. I I think these are actually supposed to be yellow, like the ones over there, and they're just faded in the picture or whatever but the 
yellow looking stairs would have thrown it off because you look at the stairs over here there's, they're not yellow I have them as just grey but in the picture for I looked at to make this stand the, the stairs were definitely bright yellow but yeah it's, you've got this kind of like little premium seating area here there's even a tunnel in the middle of it that's actually a really good view of the main stand but yeah it's it was it's really cool it was easy and complicated to make but it was a I'm really happy with the way it turned out and yeah that's pretty much it so I think I'll leave it there if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one